Today I'm going to demonstrate the knot and tuck method for masks to give masks a, a better fit. Basically, CDC just came out with a study that was released. It was a, a simulation, a lab study that looked at mannequins, a source mannequin and receiver mannequin, and having respiratory droplets or aerosols being passed by. And what they noticed was that, first of all, by using a surgical mask underneath and a cloth mask over it with a tighter fit, if both mannequins had this, there was uh, about a 95% decrease in transmission of, of these um, droplets getting through. The other thing they showed, though, is that if you uh, did a special type of technique with your mask, you could achieve the same results just using these type of uh, multi-layer masks. And that's what I want to demonstrate today. So the first thing you do is you fold the mask like this. Then the next step is you're going to tie knots on both ends. The knot needs to be right near the edge of the mask. Sort of push it. And you can see the knot is right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Keep it loose first. And then push the knot towards the end. Tighten it. Okay, so now you have two knots, as you can see, very close to the edge, so that's good. So now, now there's excess, you can see that there's excess material here. So the knot's been made and now it's the tuck. So what the tuck is, is you're pushing this material in, like that. Then you do the same thing on the other side. I'm actually gonna put this on. So you can see here that it's a tighter fit. And when I blow, air is not coming out of the sides. So you really, what you've done is you have a tighter fit on the sides by doing the knot and tuck, or what I like to refer to as the knock. This is the old mask, this is the normal. So when I breathe like that, you can see that it's come, it comes out the sides here. So you can see that side. This is without the knot and tuck method. So the filtration is as good, but the fit is not. So I think one of the key uh, uh, parts about the CDC study is that we shouldn't be walking around right now with just a single layer cloth mask. I don't think it's saying that we all have to double mask. I don't think that's um, the key message, but we wanna make sure that our masks um, are obviously good filters, um, which these are excellent because these have three layers in them, but um, we wanna make sure that they also fit our faces uh, as, as, as well as possible.